Okay, one, two, three. Hello everyone, another fantastic magical morning. And today we're gonna play another standard event trying to farm some packs and gems. And today let's go back to my bread and butter, which is Golgari. Well, they have some very interesting cards, so with that being said, let's go straight to the deck list. Okay, so this is the deck we're gonna play today, and as you can see, we're still adhering to the old format a little bit. We have, you know, Glimpse ramping into Invasion of Zendikar into our big spells, or Top Ear Stomper into Invasion of Zendikar into big spells. But we have some new cards that are rather interesting. Uh, first of all, the one I'm most excited about is Urgent Necropsy. It's a 4 mana instant that's an additional cost to cast a spell Collect Evidence X, where X is the total mana value of permanence the spell targets. Destroy up to one target artifact, up to one creature, one enchantment, and up to one planeswalker. To me, this reminds me a lot of Casualties of War, which was part of War of the Spark, which was one of my favorite spells at the time, but I didn't have enough, you know, wild cards, or I wasn't a YouTuber at the time, so I couldn't really enjoy it. The next spell is going to be Assassin's Trophy, which also was around this time, <laughs> which was is a reprint from the same time. It's a Golgar mana instant, destroy target permanent and opponent controls. It controller may search their library for a basic land card and put it into the battlefield, then shuffle. It's also a very, very cool, very versatile removal spell. It's, uh, it's one of the spells I'm really glad to play against domain decks, for example. And then finally, against domain decks, we have Outrageous Robbery, which is two black mana and X for an instant. Target opponent excels the top X cards of the library face down. You may look at and play those cards for as long as they remain exiled, and you can use any, you can use whatever mana you want to cast them. So it's really cool against other mid-range decks, like if you go to the very end against domain decks, for example, you can use Outrageous Robbery and steal their cards. I mean, if you have seven mana, instant, sp instant spell, draw five cards is really, really cool. So yeah, that's the Golgari deck we're gonna try out today and see if it's still viable in a standard event. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you and it helps the video out. And if you enjoy my content, please like the video. It does help the algorithm on YouTube quite a bit. And yeah, let's start the first game. Alright, we get to go first and this hand is not too bad. We can ramp into Invasion and then we have Reach and then we win essentially against Gorzolo. What are you playing, sir? <coughs> Should I be surprised? Probably not. Oh, it's the... Uh, it's not Red. it's that, uh... Uh, the token deck. That's, uh, we do need some, um, <laughs> Path to Exile, I think. It is a very popular deck and it looks fun to play, but... I mean, come on, one board wipe and the game is over. Warden of the Inner Sky, sure, and he can scry right away, because he has uh, everything he needs. Sure. Yeah, there's a lot of these decks in aggro deck, so it makes me want to play board wipes. So yeah, he's gonna scry again here. It's a very sweet deck, the one he has here. Sure, top. <laughs> that is not too bad. Actually, let's play at the, uh, uh, our land here so we don't take damage. Life total is a very, very scarce resource in these matchups. But yeah, what do you do now, Gorzolo? Kudos for you to have a capitalized first letter. I'll give you that. Novus Inspector, cool new card. Is that what? Oh my god, he has another one. So we're actually going to take some damage here, but we are going to play out our... Breach the following turn, so if we get a Titan of Industry out, we win, essentially. So, we could play Stomper here, honestly, and hold our Buseyu, and this way we can destroy his War Leader's Call. Actually, that might be better. Yeah, I think we, we go this way, because now we can hold Buseyu, right? Because that War Leader's Call will shaft us hard. Ain't got any loop here, too. So we're just gonna hold this and shoot it if he plays it out. No, yes, this is also a cool card. Case of the Gateway Express. I just couldn't get to work with my token deck because I was playing a little bit more mid range -y. Man, I want to play more tokens now when I see those. More board wipes and more tokens. Sure. Alright. Well, so he's going to flip that, and yeah, that's a bit annoying. But if we find ourselves a Titan of Industry here with our Breach, we're going to be very good. So you out, and here we go. Okay, you're on the crap. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Oh my god, no Titan of Industry. Yeah, it feels bad. 
Uh, let's get the Novus Inspector so we can draw some cards, potentially. Man, that's really unfortunate. We're halfway through the deck and I have four Titans. How did I not get one? Uncool, man. Uncool. At least the Stomper's active. Never mind, it's dead. This is not good. This is good. <laughs> when you're playing as aggro decks, Breach is not that good. At least you can negate some damage here. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So we can kill off... Uh, let's draw first. Okay, let's uh, surveil. I do love the surveil lands. Oh, yeah, there you are. Uh, so we are not going to play Invasion of Zendikar, obviously. We're going to shoot one of his minions and we're going to use our Urgent Necrospecy. Our Casualties of War. It's really nice if they have a Mishra a Foundry, the man land, and you can shoot that too. Man, I love Casualties of War. Long time ago I played that. The attacks here. New card time. And with Breach the Multiverse, you're never going to struggle with uh, having enough cards in the graveyard. So let's get rid of both of you. And uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. As long as we don't take a creature card, we just need to, so a Glimpse can go. Now that's pretty cool. I'll take two instead of six. Thank you very much. Then Titan will come down, destroy the other case, and gave me some life. But you can see how adamant his deck is. I mean, I used to board wipe to get rid of his army, and he's still, he's still kicking here. Alright, come. Jeff Bezos, finish off this union. Fire life, destroy. And that's it. Yeah, Titan Industry is still strong. Okay, we get to go first, and uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. A lot of glimpse to core. Let's get our tap line out and pass the turn, I guess. Hooray! What is Hooray playing? Fuck you! Hooray, it's Mono Red. Kumano, goddammit. I'm so tired of Kumano. Uh, let's go ahead and ramp. Thank you. <laughs> At least, hopefully we don't draw a forest, because then one of these cards is going to be really, really bad. Okay, do you have your um, Swift Spear into... Wow, we didn't use the chapter, huh? Well, then if you draw an untapped land, we're going to have Breach next turn. May I have this glimpse, please? Thank you. And I also have this one. That'd be great. Thank you. All right, <laughs> perfect. Draw no more glimpse uh, to the core. Maybe I should play more forests. Uh, a little bit of a mistake. Wow, he has a lightning strike, but he didn't use it. Dude, you're playing one red wrong. You're playing it wrong. Squee is annoying. Very, very annoying. Squee's not gonna rotate out either. So Breach here. Breach is not good against Squee. Luckily, he already has one. Oh god, Rick, yeah, sign me up, baby. Oh, there we go, Titan. Thank god. Titan of Industry. Your, your fulfillment center over here is, uh, you know, starting a union. So come on, Bezos, finish it off. God, Titan of Industry is so cool. That's one card I'm going to miss when it rotates out. I don't know what I'm going to replace it with. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess we block here. I mean, if he has... I mean, what could he have? How can he... Can he deal six damage extra to this Titan of Industry? I don't think so with three mana. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. There's just new E. And if he does it, the squeeze still going to die. Okay. Well... Do you have more stuff? Stop it. Not Titan of Industry. He has done nothing brown. Well, at least it cost him two car three cards to do this attack, so that's pretty good. Uh, so we just go here, because I don't want him to reanimate his uh, Squee. Let's go ahead and attack here. Squee, Aphidazin, and we can eat it, so we can, you know, gain some life. We could use the Outrageous Robbery and just steal cards from one red, but honestly, I think it's better to just do this and gain some life. And he blocked too, man. This is a strange Monroe player. Blocking. Come on. He did kill a Titan of Industry though. God damn. It's pretty cool. A few moments later. Alright, come on. Alright, we're gonna get some life then. Monorad, you're in the danger zone of getting extinct. <laughs> Alright, we get more cottages. Well, let's keep at it. What is he gonna do?
Let's just attack and kill him. We're actually gonna do something? Oh wow. Dude, why didn't you kill it before I attacked? Like, you don't want me to have this food. Alright, sure. <laughs> you kill that land. Man, my poor cottage. Down to two. Sure, and I have Assassin's Trophy ready to eat whatever he plays out, so it doesn't matter. Gain some life here. I'm 19. You can... Come on, hooray. Alright, that's it. Okay, cool. Next game. Alright, this is a questionable hand, but we have two removals. Maybe, you know, we'll draw land. Come on, deck. You can do it. Against Java Jason. Alright, Java Jason with a one ring. It's a cool pet. I should count on that. But mine is cooler. Let's look for some good cards. Find me something. Oh, God. Whenever you're ready, Java Jason. Oh, come on, dude. Alright. Hard mode activated. So I guess we just hold our uh, Assassin's Trophy here. Actually, let's do this now. Let's play this now. Because it's worse. It's a worse removal. Hopefully get an untapped land. We can play Stomper. And if we find ourselves Innovation to Zendikar, we won. Okay. Charming scheme rule. Fine. Gonna take two here, we go down to 19 again. We're sitting pretty good here. We didn't get the fucking land though, which is annoying, so... Really needed that land there. I might be playing too many tap lands here. Swift Spear, sure. Then what? Felden, okay. Uh, we cannot take five damage for nothing, so let's go ahead and shoot something. The problem here is that he's gonna get a red source, and if he has a monstrous rage... I mean, it's whatever. What ifs? If I get another land, Stomper... That's still not enough. I needed Stomper out this turn. Fucking Christ, dude. 26 lands. Land starved. Great. Uh, this is sad mode. Okay, did the game break now too? Fantastic. Fantastic. Hold on a second. Okay, choose one. Swamp. We need to find a path of Excel or something here to save us. Java Jason, don't be too rough on me. Because of Assassin Trophy, I can assure you this modern player never seen this many lands in one game. Come on, I'm sure. Then what? Okay. Alright. Do we get... I mean, we're at nine. That is pretty good, but I'm going to use Urgent Necrop- I think we're dead here anyway. I'm going to use Urgent Necrospsy here. Because we're not going to- we're going to kill one creature. Urgent Necrospsy kills two at least. Sure. We don't have anything in the graveyard either, which is really sad. Okay, at least I get to show you the Urgent Necrospsy here. So he, he attacks, but we do this target the land and we'd also target a uh, swift spear and uh, yeah we can target his enchantment here right because we only have two mana we could technically take his kumana but it doesn't save us much it's the same thing honestly we take more damage from destroying it we could have killed the kumana but i'm pretty sure we're dead here anyway so it was a mistake opponent is baffled but it's not gonna save us so we do this we take two more damage we take three more Yep, yep. Let's see what we get here, just for fun. Go f*** myself, no land. I mean, yeah, land start against Mon Red. What, do, what are you gonna do? Alright, opponent gets to go first. That is an incurable sadness I'll never get by. The hand is kind of sketchy too. We have removal and we can surveil twice. Uh, so we'll keep it against Ibai. Okay. Black, huh? Alright, let's go ahead and uh, surveil. No, we don't need you. Actually, having this in the graveyard helps us casting the one we have in our hand, so it's pretty good. So, Rakdos, huh? Rakdos what? Amble, attack... Attack? What do we mean by that? No, it's reanimation. Sure, it's Holly has been placed in the graveyard. That's kind of terrifying. Uh, let's just play the other Surveyor land here, honestly. Uh, no, thank you. 
pain lands, not what I want. I want to find some ramp spells more than, you know, like a glimpse to the core or stomper. Okay. Riveteer's Requisitioner is a cool card. It blisses at him, so he's gonna get his uh, treasure and card. Three mana, three damage, and you get a treasure. It's pretty good. Okay, well, we're getting diddly dick here. So we can put this on white, so we can have the cleave cost for Path of Peril. That's like the only way we cast Path of Ter Peril for the cleave cost. And yeah. yeah, and I feel like this guy is gonna play some big creatures. Okay, so it doesn't have enough for Gix, um, Command of Gix, what it's called, where you can get it back. The Sushi, I haven't seen that card in a while. We do find the Ram Spell, just a little bit too f***ing late. Uh, we do have the mana to um, cast Breach next turn, so let's do this now. Hopefully we can uh, be faster than him. Get the Black Lands since Glimpse to the core, we can only fetch for us. Alright dude, what do you have for 6 mana, or 5 mana? F***ing nothing, I love it. All right, my turn. Reach, baby. Find me, find me a Titan. Maybe we should just play the Titan. We have to find another Titan. There's no way we wouldn't find it. Uh, Itali, please. The Vein Reaper is kind of cool, but I think Itali is better. Wow, we didn't get it. Oh God. These Titans, these Jeff Bezos just don't want to be found. <sighs> Fine. Stomper it is. Let the dinosaurs uh, take the game over. More land. Another <laughs> Stomper and okay, Incinerator of the Guilty. Cool. Well, we're gonna get all our basics out of the deck. You please. Perfect. The cool card. Let's see how many removal spells opponent has. One. <laughs> Looks like he has a second one. Two. I have a feeling that my virtue of persistence is going to be very good against this player. I think we're going to go with Titan Venister next turn. Rakdos, okay. Have to sacrifice two per another love. Okay. Sacrifice two on permanence, non tokens, or give him two cards. I think we sacrifice, honestly. Because we're, we're gonna kill it anyway with, uh, uh, with an urgent across One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can't do urgent plus virtue, which is really frustrating. We can do urgent plus stomper. I guess it's better than nothing, right? Man, there's some really interesting cards in, in uh, Rakdos. Some big ones too. We have all the breaches. We have one more breach somewhere. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack first. See if he blocks. If he blocks, that'd be a god. Oh, he really? Man, you can't see a trap when it's right in front of you. Easy. Oh my god, I can't believe you fell for it. Why would you? I'll attack with my 4-4 into your 6-6. Six, six. No, it's not a trick. It's it's for you. It's free. I have lo lost the game. Have fun. Alright, is that it? Just a tank? Cool. So what do we take this time? Hmm. Vein Ripper looks cool. Considered guilty. It's Holly. We can cast more spells. Hmm. This is hard. What should we pick? What should we pick? I mean, it gotta be the Vein Ripper, right? Because how is he gonna defeat my Titan of Industry now? He's gonna take some damage. He has to sacrifice his stupid sushi. So we do this, and we have mana with the Necrospecy to hold whatever he casts out. So if he casts his uh, Saga of Gix, whatever it's called, we can, in response, play Urgent Necrospecy and just kill that and his uh, sushi. Alright, so he's gonna... He just wanna find cards, I guess? Does it matter which one block? We get it back anyway, right? Titan has a better E to B effect than the Vein Ripper. Alright. Well, those are not too impressive. <laughs> okay, so he found a way to kill my Titan. 
You do, you do know I have my, okay, fine. Take more damage. Okay. My turn. So what should we pick this time, guys? Rakt was cool, Atal is cool, Incinerator of the Guilty is cool. Such nice things. Uh, we could also, you know, just get, you know, our Titan of Industry. Hmm. I'm like a kid in a candy store, finally, you know, get something good. Alright, let's go ahead and <laughs> get a second Virtue out. It's a nice, it's a nice card. And that's it, he's had enough. Alrighty, so the next couple of games are gonna be at high speed and without my voiceover and with some kick-ass tunes for those who want to see how all the games went in the standard event. If you don't want, meet me at the end for the outro. Until then, have some good times.
Well, we got four wins, so we have a positive win rate. We got a pack for 75 gems, which I guess is cheaper than normal. Uh, we got a little bit unlucky if Azorius Control and uh, Landstar against Monred was not that fun. Necrospsy is good, but not in this stack. It's a very cool card, but not in this stack. And Breach of Multiverse had a couple of times struggling to find Titan of Industry. We need Path of Peril to be more. Assassin's Trophy was not as good. I think we just go with the... What was it called? The um, can't be countered black spell. I think it's better because it hits, you know, both planeswalkers and creatures. So I think it would be better to play this one. And uh, for Lana's spell, I don't really know. Um, uh, we can't. You can play Azusa. It kind of helps you survive. It, it's one spell, in my opinion, that helps you survive against mono red on the draw. Azusa saved me so many times and the body and everything, but it's still bad against other games. I don't know. I'd play something like this. Honestly, or tinker with, uh, I'm, I'm gonna play Golgarian ranked with more aggressive. And yeah, I don't know how Golgari is currently right now. And stand there's also the Golgari roots, which is kind of cool. But I feel like it will just, you know, fail against uh, Azorius control with Farewell. So who knows? Either way, thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe and have a good fucking day.